guys, I ran up to Echo this week uh, to give that a shot. Pretty awesome. Uh, that's the parking area right there. Uh, there's more water in the lake right now, so there's water by the parking area. And then the flat I fished was just there in the southeast corner. It wasn't a real big flat. Uh, there's a lot of carp, though, and it was pretty good. Um, gear I used, I used my 7-weight Maverick um, Platte Reel. And then I primarily fished the carp mall. Um, I actually ended up using more uh, bead chain and then my uh, my normal sup setup that you can check out if you're interested in, in how I set my sup up. Um, so yeah, jump into it here. Uh, up on that flat, it was a little dirty, but you could see clouds. So this I moved in onto a fish where I could see the cloud and I and I I've talked before about waiting for them to transition. So. Um, you know, when he's down and he's got mud billowing around his head, he has a real hard time seeing the fly. But as soon as he lifted, and you can, you know, you can see his back kind of change and he starts moving forward to find another spark to mud, you put that, uh, you know, the fly drag and drop right in front of him, he immediately hit it and took off. And, and these carp are great. Uh, I was actually real impressed with the size. Um, you know, a lot of the mountain reservoirs seem to have a little bit smaller carp. Um, but, uh, yeah, these were all pretty solid. Um, I think there's probably some really good ones in there. I, mean, I didn't see any giants or anything, but, um, I think getting up to the 15, 20 pound in there is, is probably pretty doable. Um, just based on the size of the ones I was catching and I didn't catch anything that big, but, uh, they just, they were pretty solid overall. Um, so this one I'd spotted, I set up the steel cam to sneak forward on. Uh, again, kind of a drag and drop, same scenario where I could kind of see him mudded, mudding. Um, the wind was pretty hard right in my face here, so it was kind of hard to get the fly where he wanted it. I was using almost 18 feet a liter. Um, I, I, the only reason I was using that is because I'd been set up for some cruising carp. I don't have any um, video of that. I was just kind of exploring because it was my first time there. Um, and there were some cruisers, you know, just subsurface out there. And so when, I, when I'm fishing for those, a lot of times I'll throw on something real light and use real long leader. Um, and I did catch two of those smaller carp um, doing that. And then I ran into this guy and quickly put on a little bit more weight um, and uh, threw the steel cam down and went and, and, and caught him. Uh, not, still probably one of the smaller ones I caught, but, but good fish. I mean, these were all, all good fish. You're not gonna see a lot of drone footage on this because I had a issue <laughs> on that first fish I actually showed that I caught. Um, well, actually it was one right after, which I don't have video of. And the reason I don't have video of is because I flew the drone down to take a picture of the fish. And as I turned, my rod was sticking out to the side and I nicked the drone and the drone went in the water. Um, I've got it dried out, uh, I hope the drone survives. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so I lost my drone. So the rest of this is all um, either a still cam footage or I, mostly I was setting stuff up on the SUP um, to try to get some 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 footage that way. So uh, I like the drone footage more, but uh, hopefully this is still cool. Um, got some pretty good images of the carp and, and uh, you know, I, I love looking at fish. So if you love looking at fish, you might enjoy some of these too. Um, so, so yeah, the rest of this is is uh, is that way. Uh, the other cool thing about Echo, and, and you'll see it here in just a second, is that uh, there's there's smallmouth in there. Smallmouth's a fun fish to catch. Um, you know, it doesn't do it for me like carp does. Um, but you know, I use my gurgler and I caught a couple uh, top water in the evening as I was getting out of there. Um, and then uh, I actually had several of them hit the carp mall and and uh, and you know, pretty good sizable smallmouth too. I mean, not, not, I mean, there were some little ones, but uh, they're pretty good smallmouth in there. I've also heard that there's walleye, which there's a catch and kill order on the walleye for the lake. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. I know walleye are pretty aggressive predators and you know, they, they feed on a lot of the fry. Um, I think they're trying to make it a trout lake. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. It's a little too warm, but whatever. I, I, a lot of times don't understand what the heck the Utah Division of Wildlife Resources is thinking when they do things. So, um, but it's a great carp fishery, great smallmouth fishery. Sounds like it's a great walleye fishery um, because someone planted walleye in there. Um, I don't chase walleye. Uh, I someone knows how to fly fish for walleye. I'd love to hear about it, but uh, uh, 
I'm not a big fan of blind fishing. Um, so yeah, anyway, but I hear there are a lot of walleye in there too. If you, if you dig walleye, go catch some walleye. Um, but yeah, carp were good. Uh, small mouth were good. Um, I'm gonna make more trips up there. I think, uh, you know, this, this is pretty easy to get to along the Wasatch Front as well. It's just right up by Colville, uh, not far from Park City. Um, lots of good water, even trout fishing. You know, the Weber right above it is a really good trout fishing area. Uh, the Weber below it's pretty good. Um, and then, you know, up and over into the middle Provo is pretty easy from there. Up into the UN is just kind of in the center of a lot of really good fishing. The last thing on this is a late edition. Um, I was able to recover the drone uh, after some uh, <laughs> digital wizardry. The uh, the final video where I actually hit the uh, I nicked the drone, I was able to recover it. So that's what this last video is. Uh, it was the fish I'd caught actually earlier uh, in the day. Um, another one where uh, you know you can see the cloud there just a little bit to the lower right. Um, one of you spot it here in a second. Uh, fairly short, drag and drop, waited for the transition, hooked him, and uh, yeah, another good carp. So again, awesome trip. Um, and the drone is working again, so I'll get out and get some more good drone uh, video. And uh, as always, guys, I appreciate it. Uh, I'll shut up now, but please like and subscribe.